Hi, Sneaky Links back tonight, and tonight we're looking at Slytaz 2.0. A nice little mini distro from Switzerland. And I really like it. It's 30 megabyte download, nice and small, but it's really, really full featured. And I like it. So, we've got a little run through of it for you tonight. Get down to the bottom bar. Got your time. Package Manager, I do like that. System Information, the Task Manager, CPU Usage, Internet Connection, and Volume Control. We'll go along a bit further. Posh your desktops. You've got the Fox here for your web browser, X Terminal, and a File Manager. And a bit further along, you've got the menu. So we'll click on the menu. Now there's plenty here, really. For 30 megs, they've squeezed a lot in. By the way, it comes with open box, which is why we've got the look we have. Also makes that asunder. There's no GIMP, but you can get that. Not a problem. System tools, there's plenty there. You can mount devices, wireless networks, etc, etc. There's nothing really you don't really want to download, so it's really good. Firefox again. Ghost in the mail. Transmission, if you're still using torrents. Now I've installed every word just to make sure it all installed right and everything's hunky dory and it was and I used that word again didn't I? Hunky dory. I'm gonna try not to use that one too much. For utilities, got burn C D, password manager, etc etc. So anyway, nice clean desktop and you can change them. I'm gonna click on the package manager. Now it asks you for the root password, which by default is root, but obviously if you're gonna install it to a hard drive, you can change it to whatever you like. So let's scan the database. Doesn't take too long. And up it comes. Now when you first install it, because I've actually installed this to the hard drive, it's blank. And you have to click on recharge list. So I'm going to do that now anyway just to show you. It doesn't take too long at all, so that's cool. By the way, SILITAS stands for Simple Light Incredible Temporary Autonomous Zone. I can now turn a bit of paper away. Thank you. There we go. It's downloading. See if there's anything there we haven't got on the list. And we've got everything. So that's cool. I like it. And it looks really nice too. And it is really, really, really quick. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to scroll down to something I know we're going to install, which is going to be Genumeric. I know this cloud thing has got everything, and yes, I've got accounts everywhere, but I still like it on my PC. So we're going to get down to Genumeric and we're going to show you how it gets to install on here. A bit further. Oh, and there she is. You double click on that. Just like that. And this is what comes up. That's a 3.2 meg download, but 10 once it's installed. And you get these options. Just get the file, get an install. But also, most importantly, I thought, was the auto-install dependencies. That's what we really like. So we're going to get that installation. Now, I apologise for my net connection again. There's too many X Xboxes around using everybody's bandwidth. So I'm going to forward that to a little bit on this video, just to save a bit of time. Just like that. I'm a magician, if I could speak properly. Anyway, she's nearly done. Nearly 100%. It's found a dependency, and it's going to download that for us too. As you can see, don't take long at all. Nice and quick. I like it. Now for a mini distro, this is one of the better ones. I know I've done Tiny Core, etc. lately. But I think I'd prefer this one over Tiny Core for the moment. Anyway, so it's still in Junimeric. And there we are. We're all installed. And as you can see, the CPU is working 10 so it doesn't there. At 100%. So, there we are. So I'm going to exit that now, and I'm going to go over to the menu. Got menu. This is where I want to go. Come back down to office. There we are. And we're going to click on Genumeric. There we are. Lovely. All this should be. Just going to check, as I usually do, what it's saved to, just in case it's not a really new version. So we'll go down there, open up the file types. Everything's there, except the open office section. Not actually finished yet, but we knew that anyway from other distros. But I'm sure they'll get that fixed very soon. Right, anyway, we'll come out of that. 
Well, open the fox up. Nice and quick. Go straight to their browser web page. What I'm going to show you is their web applications they've got up there. If you use YouTube, Zoho, Mebo, Mebo's instant messaging obviously, but without having to install it on your system, that's cool. Also, Dig and Facebook are there for the people that want to use it. Whatever claim ideas, I'll never know, but I will look that one up. And then we've got one here for their own section here, for their own website. So that's lovely. Now, just to show you that it does actually work properly, I'm just going to click on Google. Dot Google in. And up she flashes. Nice and quick. That's cool for me. I like it. Scroll up and down. There you go. It works. Lovely. So we'll come out of that now. I don't like the brown car though. I think we could get rid of the brown, couldn't we really? Just not really fun the brown. If you right click the uh, desktop, you get these options. Open folders, create folders, connect fake composite, shadows, fade, etc. And lots of other options. Bear in mind it's only a 30 meg download. You might as well give it a go yourself because it's all the same on the live CD, so that's cool. So, last one I'm going to show you, we're going to open up the Task Manager. And there you go. It's not actually using hardly any CPU and only 41 megabytes of RAM out of the 380 I've got on here, I think. So, what we're going to do is open a couple of apps, just the two Office apps. So, first we're going to open Abbey Word. As you can see, bumps up the CPU straight away and then goes down. And then again, we're going to open G Numeric. Up she flashes. Nice. We'll go back to the task manager. As you can see, it's only using about 15 to 20% of the CPU and still only 15 megs, 59 megs, should I say, of RAM, which is good for me. Now, for a mini distro, this is going to be one to watch. It's took him a year to do this one, apparently. So go out and get it, download it yourself. You know what I'm saying. Sneaky Linux out.